Hi Virgo, thanks for stopping by my channel, Beyond the Moon. I am doing your general love reading, you verse them spread for the end of January. However, time is fluid, so um, I trust that when you find this, it's meant to reach you, okay? Um, Virgo, I am going to do you on this side and your person on this side. Hi, Cross Watcher, you're more than welcome here as well. Please feel free to switch roles, okay? Switch energies. Um, even if it's like one or two things that you're like, no, that was that, you can just feel free to switch, okay? Um, there is no gender in tarot, so um, if I say he or she, place it as it may, okay? And um, I am doing a Valentine's Day giveaway, so stick with me till the end and I'll tell you how to enter. Um, but I'm giving away three free 30-minute personal love readings for Valentine's Day. The winners will be picked on February 7th. So stay tuned and I will let you know how to enter. Um, if this resonates, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Um, it's very much appreciated, okay? And also, this is intended for uh, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, okay? If this does not resonate, please don't force it to fit and please check your other placements, all right? And same to you, Cross Watcher, all right? All right, so we have free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. Worth waiting for. All right, divine timing is at work in your love life. Heart-to-heart -heart conversations. All right, honestly discuss your feelings with each other and true love. This is the romance of a lifetime. All right, so that's what we got here. So I feel like you might have been stuck in possibly some cycles. All right, um, let go of control issues. Yeah, love yourself first. Could be a soulmate that you're dealing with. Um, but it, maybe some conversations need to uh, take place here. All right, your overall energy is yang. Okay, so um, this is like the masculine energy. It's kind of like more dominant, taking control of things, control of your life. Um, let go of control issues, <laughs> free yourself. So let's see where this is going to go. I feel a little bit of contradiction happening, kind of, slightly. Um, but I feel like, yeah, you're trying to follow, like, what you're passionate about, your desire, your drive, like, what gets you, um, you know, work, romance, whatever. Um, I feel like you're just really trying to find it, okay? Maybe trying to find that balance with your yin side. All right. And what is Virgo's person's overall energy? Virgo's person, overall energy, Virgo, thank you, poised, all right, so your person is trying to, they might put you up on a pedestal, all right, um, she's up on a pedestal, or your person might feel, he, she, whatever, might feel like, They're just kind of like carefree. Let's get some more information here. All right, so um, Virgo's recent past. All right, so maybe things weren't balanced. Um, maybe there was an equal give and take or you felt that that's what you wanted, equal give and take, or maybe you thought that's what they were gonna offer to you. All right, there you are showing up to your own reading. Um, <laughs> the hermit, all right. So maybe you were kind of just in a space of doing your own thing, minding your own business, and then bam, this person came along offering you some passion. Um, maybe it started off as like a passion, sexual type, you know, thing, um, more fun in the bedroom type deal, um, and it didn't really go anywhere. And you may have gotten a little bit of a broken heart from it. Let's get one more on that, please. Why is that card here? The Three of Swords. Oh, boy. Capricorn energy, the devil. So, ugh, the tower. They weren't giving you what you wanted. Maybe you felt ignored by this person. Like maybe they came in with a bang, literally. <laughs> like came in with a bang and, you know, you thought, oh, this is worth waiting for, worth fighting for. You know, this is what I want. Let's have some heart-to-heart -heart conversations. It's true love and this person is just doing whatever they want. 
All right, let's see. What is your person's recent past energy? Virgo's recent past energy. Could have been dealing with a Pisces. Pisces again, Pisces again. So triple Pisces energy and Scorpio. Or no, double Pisces energy and double Scorpio energy here. All right, so... Hmm. Your person could have been single, all right, um, a very attractive, independent, um, single person that was just paying attention to work, focusing on work, or just focusing on themselves and working on themselves, um, but I feel like they came towards you with some kind of an emotional offer, um, but they could have been hiding something from that, okay, and I feel like that's what kind of brought this to an end. I'm also seeing it another way. <clears throat> Virgo, you... You could have, before this person, you could have had some kind of heartbreak and some kind of toxic connection before this person, okay? Um... And if you didn't heal from that, you could have brought that into this connection and this person like came towards you and made you like a small offer of love. Um, but they could have sensed that you had some secrets or some burdens from the past that you didn't heal yet, um, which could have maybe freaked them out a little bit. And, you know, so that way they were like, mm, maybe I'm just going to stay single. That's for a small percentage of you. Okay. Um, so take that if it resonates. It's not for everybody. Um, another thing would be that this person came to you acting like they were a pure um, person and they weren't, okay? Um, it was like a false start, fake promises. There were some secrets. There were some things hidden. Um, they may have been more focused on themselves than you in this connection, okay? Yeah, you have a tower. Um, so take that as it resonates, all right? Um, so let's go into blockages or challenges or external influences in this connection. So external influences, external influences for Virgo. There were secrets. There are secrets, possibly around a family dynamic, all right? Maybe they were in another connection and they did not tell you. That's for some of you. I need to get more cards. Can you clarify more, please? They had options. They had options and they were kind of sharing their passion with other people. Can I have one more? So for the other few of you, it's, you know, if they didn't have some kind of other family connection, whatever going on, this is, they are non-committal and they have secrets. Let me keep, get one more. Yeah. 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 They could be dealing with a water sign. You could be dealing with a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. You don't have to be, but yeah, three of cups. Seven of Cups, the Moon, Page of Wands. Yeah, this person is not ready for commitment. They have options. They like to go out and party and celebrate, hook up with whoever. Um, they don't tell you everything. They keep things hidden from you. Yeah. That's why. All right. We're getting, we're getting it now. We're getting to it now. All right, so yeah, this person is non-committal. That's the blockage in this. That's what you're seeing. I mean, it could be you. Again, feel free to reverse. If you're thinking, I don't want a connection, I don't want a relationship, this person might. You know, it could be flipped. Um, yeah. All right, so now you both have that. You open the reading with this card, the Six of Pentacles. And their blockage is Six of Pentacles. The world. 
So again, this, look at, free yourself. This could just be a cycle. Look at, it's like the horse is just like going round and round, stuck in this like cycle. The world is a cycle, all right? Can I have three more for Virgo's person? Virgo's person, three more for Virgo's person. Thank you. <laughs> That tower card, devil card again. But now we have temperance, Sagittarius energy, the world or the wheel, and three of swords. So maybe this person's a heartbreaker. This person can't have that ebb and flow, that equal give and take, that just go with the flow type. Um, or that's all they do is just go with the flow, you know, they're, they're non-committal. And they could just be keeping you stuck. In their, in their cycle, okay. Instead of learning the lessons that are supposed to be learned, it's being ignored and things aren't happening in divine timing because it's like a repeat, a repeat, a repeat, false start, false start, false start, because lessons aren't being learned. Growth isn't happening. So even if it's not with you, it's like no matter where they go, it's going to be like that false start, false start until there's an ending and an actual lesson is learned. There is, you, you can come back together, but you both have to learn that lesson, okay? So that's kind of how, like, it works. It's, it's weird. <laughs> Being human is weird, but that's kind of how the universe works. Like, they put stuff in your way so you can learn lessons and test you and see how bad you really want something, you know? Um, but I feel like this person, the blockage is maybe one of you, so you both have the three of swords. Again, something could have been carried from, you know, childhood or a past relationship that is being brought into this connection that is making it so it's not smooth sailing. All right. So um, I do feel options in third party, though, as a blockage. So I feel like I don't really quite know whose end it's on completely because you're both. You have a small amount of mirroring going on. Small. So let me dig a little farther. Um, how do you genuinely feel towards this person or about this person? All right. So maybe it is them. Let me get a couple more. We have the Hierophant. Again, Earth sign. Taurus. Could be dealing with a Taurus. You don't have to be. Yeah, you could have known them from childhood. Um, you could feel like this is a soulmate connection. You could be reminiscing about them, um, wanting them to come back. Yeah, soulmate, two of cups, so six of cups, two of cups. They could have been a friend, you know, and things got a little carried away. Could have started off as a friend, friendship. Doesn't have to be. Um, but I feel like you want victory and success. You want a higher level of commitment. You're trying to manifest a ten of pentacles and possibly like a marriage. All right. So you feel like this person is your soulmate. And you possibly want a higher level of commitment with them. And you're trying to manifest that, that victory and success. So that's how you feel towards this person. So yeah, maybe this person is the one that is... not being a hundred percent let me get some more how does this person feel towards you well there you are <laughs> all right hermit so they could be feeling like you're focusing on you you're using your wisdom walking the path you're supposed to or you pulled your energy back let me see here what else do they feel towards my virgo here And a couple more. There's passion. They have passion for you. We have the Page of Wands, but it's like young passion. They're trying to manifest you. Oh, 
they might feel like you're a player. I can't tell who. You guys are going to have to let me know in the comments. Like, if it's you or them. If, like, who. Because it's weird. The energy is a little bit weird. It's a little bit tricky here. So I feel like, you know, they're trying to make you a passionate offer here. Um, they're waiting, but I feel like you're ignoring them. So why are you ignoring them when over here it's like you are trying to manifest them? Maybe not them per se. Maybe you're just trying to manifest someone that you can grow with, um, have that stability with, have a marriage with, have that victory and success, you know. Um, maybe this person's feeling like they're not good enough or they can't provide that to you. Um, like they have to keep fighting to win you over possibly like the wounded warrior. They fought the good fight. Now they're tired. Maybe they're putting their walls up. They're also manifesting. Like, I feel like you both have the magician. Like, I feel like you're manifesting this person. I feel like is trying to manifest like a new passionate beginning with you. Like maybe they're texting you passionate texts. Or messages, you know, and they're like waiting to hear from you and you're not responding to them. Interesting. Interesting. Because you see them as a soulmate. You have the two of cups and six of cups. Like you see them as a soulmate. Maybe you have options. That is a blockage on your side. I usually project that onto a blockage coming from them that's blocking you you know but maybe it's your blockage maybe you have options and you don't know you just want a soulmate connection that is going to lead to marriage or a higher level of commitment possibly like stability buying a home starting a family having that victory and success whatever level you guys are on okay maybe you already have kids whatever you just want that stability yeah forward movement you just maybe you just want to be happy doesn't necessarily mean it's with this person this person may have some player ways they do see you look you guys mirroring mirroring i don't know who's who <laughs> oh my gosh <laughs> they have the two of cups they have the seven of cups they have the six of cups and the knight of wands um the devil is on the table i could say maybe one of you guys are a little bit codependent um, maybe overindulge in possibly alcohol or food or video games who knows sex maybe i don't know um so it could be the case and maybe that's why there's like a standstill here like it's like true love and it's worth waiting for but that's why I said there's like contradiction right from the get-go. <laughs> right from the first few cards, I said there's a little bit of contradiction going on here. Like I felt it right away. Like free yourself and worth waiting for. So it's like... Alright, what are you, I'm going to go to... What are your hopes for the outcome? What are your hopes... King of Cups, possibly a Scorpio, maybe Cancer Pisces, doesn't have to be. Emotional fulfillment. What else are your hopes? What are your hopes for the outcome? What is Virgo's hopes for the outcome in this connection? This card went... So I don't really quite know if it was supposed to be in reverse, but you want something that's just and balanced and fair, okay? You might be wanting to take a leap of faith towards maybe a new person. Can I have two more cards? I don't know. Another Scorpio card, so that's here twice, but I feel like you might want to end this and go towards something something new, something that's balanced and even and fair. Yeah, you might be using your intuition or feel like there's secrets that are being kept. 
Yeah, you're making that decision. So I feel like you're still in deciding mode. Do I give this person another chance or do I take a leap of faith and end this towards something else? You might be moving in secret. Maybe you're not telling anybody what you're doing yet. Maybe you've met somebody that kind of like sparked your interest um, and you're just kind of like keeping quiet right now. More water energy, water, water, water. And then we have Libra and Aries. Hmm. All right. What does your person hope for the outcome? Yeah, this is, I feel like this connection is. They have King of Wands. So um, Leo energy or Aries and Sag doesn't have to be. They have the Nine of Cups and the Eight of Cups walking away, possibly getting themselves single, working on themselves to find their wish fulfillment. They're walking away. What are they walking towards? <laughs> Three of Cups. Oh, I said, what are they walking towards? King of Cups. What are you walking towards? King of Cups. <laughs> Uh, you could be dealing with a Scorpio. You really could be. Doesn't have to be, though. Because um, they could be walking away. So they have, they actually have a couple people here. They have three people. They have the Empress, Taurus, Libra energy, the King of Cups, and the King of Wands in their wish. Plus, Nine of Cups, which could be overindulging. Okay, it could be a codependency, addiction, drinking, partying, whatever. Um, but it is like also a wish fulfillment, okay? Um, so I feel like they're walking away towards some kind of a wish, but there's three people here and then three of cups. So maybe they have options, which was a blockage for you. So maybe now this is becoming more clear. Finally, we're getting to the punchline, okay? <laughs> So this person may have brought the toxicity, the double energy into this connection because they didn't know what they wanted. There was too many people. They do have feelings for you. They do love you. Um, but it's not like, I love you. You have to be with me. It's more of like that, yeah, control issues. Is this person like, mm, I don't want to throw it. Don't come at me, please, in the comments. Don't throw your phone or throw a remote at me at the TV right now. But maybe this person had a little bit of like that controlling narcissistic type energy. It's not crazy. There could be some manipulation, some trickster energy, some secrets, some manipulation, pretending, whatever um, going on here. Possibly because they have other options and maybe they wanted to keep you as an option. Okay. For some of you. For others of you, they could be just walking away to work on themselves, become single, and have that like, maybe take some loving, tender care to themselves. Maybe heal from whatever heartbreak was brought into this. If that was the case, it may not be. Um, this person... Could just have a broken heart from past stuff and they've never healed which is why they don't know how to just commit to one or be with one all right and i feel like you are ending this you're both ending. you have the death card you're ending this and they're walking away so i feel like you are choosing to end this and they're not fighting they're not fighting it all right. Yeah, you're being the fool. You're you're going on to something that is more suited for you. Something that you can, you know, trust. Has balance. There's a lot of imbalance here. You want balance. All right. You want a higher level of commitment, and this person can't provide that. There's nothing wrong with them. They're just, they can't provide that to you right now. Like different timelines, you know, vibrating differently, different levels. 
All right. Um, what do we have for Virgos for closing messages and advice? All right. So Valentine's Day giveaway. All right. So three things you have to do to enter um, to get a free 30 minute reading. Um, hit the like button to this video, subscribe to my channel and comment your name below. Um, if you're not comfortable commenting your name, you can always just send me an email with your name, but make sure you hit the like button and subscribe so I can cross check that you did do all three. All right. Um, I appreciate it. And it's my way to give back to you guys because I love you guys. <laughs> I keep my channel going. <laughs> all right. So let's see, paradise, happiness, expansion, joy, playfulness, oneness, enjoying each other. Yeah, so I feel like you are trying to work on yourself, all right, and get yourself happy and have that playfulness back in you, all right, flirting, fun, energy, um, cassette, outdated thinking, conditioning, replaying events over and over in your head. All right, so... You could be stuck in your head or this person or it could be from like the past and it's just hasn't left the heart or the brain. You know what I mean? Just keeps replaying and, and cycles. It keeps happening over and over again until someone heals. Um, coffee cup, meeting, conversing, savoring the moment, feeling uplifted, friendship. Yes, yeah, so you might be going out with some friends. All right. Finding yourself again. Boat, receiving what you need. Progress, uh, progression, arriving, moving on, closure issues, all right? So maybe one of you had closure issues. That could be what that is, bringing it from the past or, um, you know, moving on. Moving on. You're both moving on, I feel like. Uh, the butterfly, relationship evolving to the next phase, healing the inner child, growth, right? So heal that inner child, whether this is for you or for them, so that way things can grow. Okay, so that way it can actually blossom. I feel like there was no growth here and it was like, uh. all right, then we have separation, sword in the rose, clarity, truth, revelation, force, honor, protection, power. All right, and golden mirror, self-absorbed, narcissist, one-sided relationship, love bombing. All right, and then, yeah, ascending. <laughs> this is you. Transcending obstacles, learning, expansion, new phase, preparing for union. Yeah, so, all right, Virgo, I hope this resonated. All right, um, please check your other placements if it didn't. And until next time, love and light. Take care. Why does it do this to me? <laughs>